Okay, before I start today's supermodel assistant guide, if you like what you see today, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, Just Jamie. That means you'll get notified every time I release a new setup guide, plus it helps out my channel too. So today we're looking at supermodels assistant and of course this is a very easy way of playing Sega Model 3 games stress free really and this is likely the easiest setup guide I've ever done this is really easy so I'm going to leave the link in my description this is going to take you to supermodel assistant this is a github now this is actually released back in 2020 but it works perfectly fine and when you can see what this can actually do you'll be amazed if we just go to assets just download the supermodels assistant 0.12 zip and actually look at this it was actually from 2022 so it's not really that old so what we're going to do is download that and once you download it you'll download a supermodels assistant zip folder you don't need an emulator or anything else this is a gui or a graphical user interface and it's pretty much an all-in-one all we've got to do with this is just open it up but first of all we're just going to delete that supermodel assistant zip folder if we open up supermodel folder and here we go inside the supermodels assistant folder we're going to find in here supermodel folder just go inside of there and you're going to find a roms folder now your sega model 3 games is going to go into this folder so i'm going to just paste my games inside of there okay so once you've copied your games into that supermodel roms folder we're going to open up the front end may as well be called a front end or a gui so to do that what we're going to do is come out into the root and we're going to open it up with supermodelsassistant.exe. Just double left click on this one and make sure you've got a controller connected. Okay, Windows protected your PC. More info and run anyway. And here we go then. So this is Supermodels Assistant and very snazzy it looks. Now we can change how this looks. If we just go to the top left, you're going to see a little cog, a little wheel. If you left click on this one. What we can do here is actually use cover flow mode. Let's go back. And here we go. So if I use my controller, I can actually flip through the games like this. And we'll just hide that cursor. So the entire Model 3 game collection just here. Now if I come back out and I go to rotate game flowers, just disable that one. Uh, various different options there just to mess around with. And eventually you'll find out what suits you best. I'm going to just enable that again. Now, controller-wise, all I had to do was connect my Bluetooth controller, and it's picked it up for me. If you did want to map out your controller, it's literally a case of just go into the common input start one, for example, and just corresponding it with your controller. So left click on input start one, and I'm going to press start on my controller and so on now just make note that from time to time and from game to game we might need to go into the service menu so just make a mental note of the buttons you need for this normally it's digits five seven and six if you want to map these out in your controller that's fine now if you've got a joystick two for a player two then obviously you're going to go through the same process for up to four joysticks now if we go back what we're going to do is actually just go and disable use cover flow mode and what we're going to do we're going to open up a game now games are very different on model 3 how they operate so for example if i go to dirt devils uh, what we got here is some more options per game so if we go to graphics i find on my screen resolution is the best quality by setting this to 1600 by 900 I also find that graphics engine needs to be to legacy engine so that gives the best performance and I'm also going to enable use multi texturing if we go to the drop down tab of dirt devils if you've got the entire collection of Sega model 3 games so you can choose different versions here if I just choose dirt devils and I actually launch it Your machine. Where do you want to wait? Okay, at the time, and get ready to wait. 
And to exit the game, I just press escape on my keyboard, and that's brought us back into the assistant. So, what I'm saying about different games have different setups. If I just come out of this one, what I'm going to do is open up a completely different game. I'm going to go for Scud's Race. Now, like I say, we do need to set the graphics on most of these games. So if I was to run Scud Race with the default settings, it's going to give me a very bad image. So, like I say, I find 600 by 900 is fine for me. Now, also find by going to Graphics Engine and switching to Legacy Engine, and most of the time enabling use multi texturing, I do find that the best bet. And we also got a sound tab as well. So if you want to turn the sound volume down or the music volume for the game, then you can do that just there. Uh, under MISC, we got different options here enable force feedback and a loaded save state on launch. Uh, just like the other game, if I just drop this down, we'll have different versions. So I'm going to use the Australian version of this and go to launch. Now, this particular game needs to be set up correctly, so I'm not going to go through each game, but what we're going to need to do is play around with the numeric keyboard or the numbers on your keyboard. And what we need to do for this particular game is just go down to exit, and we're going to go down to game assignments and press 6 to enter into that. And on link ID, press 6 and switch it to single. If I press 5 to come down and 6 to exit, and five to go down to exit and six. Select the course. Beginner. Select a car. Push 911. Choose one. Automatic. just press escape on my keyboard again just to exit out of that game now the final game i'm going to show you is the lost world Jurassic park so obviously this is a light shooter game and again under graphics i'm going to just drop this down to the resolution which best suits my screen and again graphics engine best results normally are on legacy engine with use multi texture enabled like I'm just doing uh, we can also disable or enable full screen I'm gonna leave this on full screen uh, and I'm gonna just use the lost world now with this particular game we can actually see what we're shooting at and you're gonna see what I mean in a second Wipe this out. You 
We've got to save Ian and Sarah. As you can see, the game starts off fine with the target on there, but once we get inside the gameplay, the target's totally gone, and it's really hard to make out what's going on. And that's it for today's Supermodels Assistant Sega Model 3 setup guide. So, as you can see in the video, if you should get any issues with your visuals, then it's just a case of configuring each game's resolution. And for me, I find that resolution I was using throughout works just perfectly. So anyways, if you liked today's video, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss out on upcoming retro emulation content. Also join me on social media, I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.